So Coach Costa, how are you today, ma'am? Uh, doing well. First of all, congratulations on the extension. Uh, Thank you. How does that feel? I know you mentioned it earlier today, but how does that feel for you personally? This to be a sense, a sense of relief and uh, confidence that they're making a commitment for us to continue building the program. I think that's you know, what it really feels like. It hasn't completely set in. Typical of my personality, you just keep it being a driving force, but certainly once you really start thinking about it, you take a deep breath and a sigh of relief, but not a not a lack of work ethic, though. you got to keep moving and plugging because you want to continue this build and really do something special here. Speaking of that, how do you move on past the Sean K. Evans, yeah. Ken Fon era? Well, that's what makes coaching fun because it, it is, you know, what it is when kids graduate in four years, and at least we have four years with them, and, you know, hopefully the young ones have picked up on some of their leadership and, and their development, and then we just continue to plug. I mean, it's going to be a collective group with this team this year. You know, you can't point out exactly who's going to give you that consistent. I mean, obviously relying heavily on Anma and Yacoub, Annie Payton, and Andriana to be that foundation of putting up some points. But then after that, it's going to be fun night after night. Um, so defensively needs to be our identity. Who are some of the newer players that have impressed you? Um, well, we obviously talk, when you look at her, as you look at her right now, uh, Elo Edifaroki, the freshman post player from Nigeria, is outstanding. Rebounder, strength, she's got to keep developing. She hadn't played basketball that long in her career, so her development's got to keep going, but she possesses a work ethic and a tenacity to rebound like you haven't seen. Then you have a freshman uh, Puerto Rican point guard, Crystal Luciani, Luciano, who's got a, a big task playing behind Dre, but she's getting a lot of experience with that. Um, so those are some newbies there. With Kelly Loftus is another freshman, and uh, then your sophomores are going to have to perform. You know, best thing about I kind of messed that up. Best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. That's what I was trying to say about that. But uh, you know, they they've got to really step up to the plate and, and produce. Now, now will be a good time. I know your first home game is coming up real soon. Any yeah. message for the fans at home for them to come on down and watch you? Well, we're playing team. Boston College on November the 12th. That is a pretty good start for people to come out and get to see, obviously, a top team that's in the ACC play on our floor. So that, you know, obviously you're coming to see us, but you want to see good competition. We know what people want to see. And then right after that, we play Fordham. And then the following week, we play Virginia Tech here on a Saturday night at 7 p.m. So those three, you're going to get some great, some great uh, players coming in this gym, some of the best players in the country and we're going to be competing you know, for the W that night. So those are, we need to have folks in the stands. We need to have a six-man. Thank you very much. Thank you.